Welcome to episode 174. I'm losing my voice of clarity compressed. And as you can see, I'm not in Syracuse at the moment. We're making our way through the fog of life and clarity is understanding where we are on the map. You are here. <laughs> Let the good times roll. This is Clarity Compressed. All right, so I am out here in Tampa. It's the first real speaking trip I've taken since COVID. I um, just want to share this moment with you because if you know me, you know I really hate being hot and uncomfortable. But the reason that I wanted to record an episode here, I miss doing episodes on the road. I usually would try to record something whenever I'm moving around or wherever something's not normal. And uh, something's not normal right now. So I, I delivered the opening keynote at the Digital Dealer Conference in Tampa, Florida. And I wanted to share with you some of the things that um, I'm realizing about a post-COVID world that is now reopening that, you know, you kind of get a glimpse of it, but now you can see it. And like, now that I've like, it's tangible because I've been here for a couple of days and I realize it. So I'm in the state of Florida, obviously the, the mask mandate is uh, not in effect. And obviously Florida has been open a lot more than everybody else has been open uh, pretty much throughout the duration of the pandemic, or at least for a large part of it. And, you know, in the automotive industry, it really runs like a lot of industries on conferences and getting together and that whole cycle was completely disrupted. Well, it is being undisrupted very, very quickly. And I heard a lot of questions and a lot of people having conversations that like, you know, once we're used to fist bumps and elbow bumps, um, like is hand shaking ever going to come back? And I can tell you from now firsthand experience is that people want it back. People want the handshakes back. They want the hugs back. They want the smiles back because you cannot disrupt human connection for long. Obviously the pandemic, we had to stay safe. I hear you out there. Thank you. That was probably like a $20 million yacht. We want those things back. And I've seen it now firsthand. You know, we came up and everybody's kind of like a little bit pensive. Like we're going to do the, thank you. We're going to do the fist bump. We're going to do the elbow. And everybody's like, I'm cool if you're cool. <laughs> and then after like that ice is broken, you could tell everybody just wanted to, to really love on one another and handshake and hug and just like be so happy to be back together. And so like the human connection of conferences is undefeated. There's no virtual event that can take its place. However, I will say that I was much less bullish on whether or not you could build relationship in uh, a digital environment. So I was like, I don't know, like Zoom, uh, Zoom is like, not going to work out and even like over platforms like social media can you really have friends in social media can you really have friends that you've never met um and then obviously as we got more used to COVID and you know zoom meetings for work and um you know instagram lives and linkedin lives and and live streaming and twitch and discords and and all these things and clubhouse oh my gosh how could i forget clubhouse um clubhouse really delivered at a really critical time i think for a lot of people really started to hit in january of this year and um just i i, I know it's kind of on the decline now but people built some really meaningful communities on clubhouse um i'm one of them i've been a part of some really meaningful communities on clubhouse and you know this conference was really a lot of those coming together and i saw people at this conference and met them for the first time when i've literally talked to them just about every single week for the last six months in clubhouse and conversations when you have them in clubhouse they just tend to be a little bit more personal which is cool and you you people are a little more real they're not in front of a camera which can cause discomfort it's just on your phone and it's just audio and so as that's developed i saw people for the first time and it was really really meaningful like i understood i i have a meaningful relationship with you even though we've never met now, I do think you need the physical, you know, in-person relationship to really codify that. So like to bring it really into completion, but I realized I was wrong on that. You can build meaningful relationships online. It takes more work, it takes more consistency, but it actually is a thing. It's a thing. I just wanted to share that moment with you because I know a lot of my friends uh, and listeners aren't out of lockdown. We have Canadian listeners that are still locked down. And I think I just heard it's going to be like October 1st when the travel ban is lifted and hopefully it can open up a little bit more. 
um, as that goes on. And there have been a lot of dark times that people are facing. And now maybe even accelerating for those who can't get out and about because there's already this COVID fatigue from being in for so long. And now there's the added element of being able to see and look and watch other people open up and other people interact and other people hugging and high-fiving and being together and celebrating. And that's gonna make the people who are still locked down probably feel a little bit worse if I'm just you know, shooting from the hip on my basic, ba basic human observations. And so it'll be interesting to see how that plays out, but I think it's on all of us to do everything we can to, to not try to separate ourselves from those people, but try to bring them into the fold as well. Yeah, so the human connection is undefeated. And two days in Tampa really showed me that. We had an automotive state of the union, which is um, a little movement, I'll say, that I started uh, in COVID for people in the automotive industry. And we had a meetup and it was exceeded all my expectations. It did just prove the thesis that I, that I walk by is that, you know, business is more meaningful when people connect on a human level. So if you're listening to this and watching this episode, there's a, there's a good chance is that we connected um, on a human level for the first time, you know, or at least in a person time this weekend and, or this week. And I will say that I missed it, but I also will say, and I think a lot of you will find this as well. I don't want to go back to the way it was pre-COVID. So I was excited 2020 was going to be my year. I had speaking engagements booked already going into the year through most of the year of all types. You know, some were to help dealers, some were paid speaking engagements. And it was like the momentum was starting to go. And yes, I was on the road a lot and we were starting to adjust as a family and uh, trying to find finding our balance there. But then COVID hit and it all got shut down in an instant like so many of you and it just didn't matter. It was done. You were home. Anything that you thought you had going is no longer going. And then you had to figure out what the next step was. Well, now things are reopening and it's, it's like, oh, people, a lot of people want to get back to normal. But I think more people than not understand, like I do, is that there is a level, level of balance in there that we didn't have. And now we have a really great opportunity to build that balance into life. So now instead of being all one way, what we can do is actually be a little bit more measured with our travel, be a little bit more intentional with the time we spend away from home and who we spend it with. And so that's, I'm really excited. I just think there's an F-16 flying here. What is going on in Tampa? Almost gone. And so that's pretty much what I wanted to share with you today. I wanted to give you an idea of what it's like out here in, I would say the real world, it's real world everywhere, but I wanted to give you an idea of what it's, what it's like right here where I am in Tampa, Florida right now. Again, human connection is undefeated. People do want the hugs and high fives. We are going to get back, but we have a real opportunity to get perspective on where we were and now we understand it so we can have clarity moving forward. So I hope you find a better balance as things begin to open up. I hope you find deeper, meaningful connection and now um, literally physically reconnecting with the people that you've been virtual with so long. And more than anything, I think we can all learn that it's important to care for one another, regardless of the state that we're in. So thank you so much for spending some time with me here today. I hope you connect on social media, connect on LinkedIn, doing a lot there lately. And um, Hey, I'd love to interact. DM me. I do answer my DMs. So aside from that, thank you so much. I will talk to you next week when I'm back home in sunny summer upstate New York. Talk to you later. We came to